Hello, this is Dave. Just want to show you some of the uh, little bit of the progress I've made here and uh, set up in a different lab setting so I have a little bit more control. Uh, I'm starting to use uh, DC power supplies so I can control my input voltage. So right now this circuit's operating just under 12 volts. Uh, this is the current. It's on 100 milliamp scale, so it's up there. I mean, it's 700 or um, 75 milliamps. Still charging a battery. We've got the DC co uh, relay coil in series. Uh, I've got a little resistor bank here I use for selecting the. Uh, the base, tra uh, base resistor for the transistor. LEDs are at full brilliance. And we are at 100 volts. That was kind of a benchmark I had set for myself uh, using the one uh, degaussing coil. There's been some comments about the coil and yes, the uh, the coil seems to want to work just in the position you see it here. It can be a bit more vertical if it's uh, physically possible, but the uh, the bottom of the coil needs to extend uh, to be exposed to the trigger coil. There's some interaction taking place there uh, to obtain these high voltages. So. Degaussing coil is really nothing special. I, if I dissected it, I would imagine I would find some very fine uh, wire inside. Uh, the loop coil, uh, the resistance of that coil is about 300 ohms. So I imagine there's uh, many, many turns of fine wire. And I don't believe there's anything else in that circuit. It's just a, just a loop of wire. That's it for now. I'll um, keep you updated if I just run into anything else here, but this is it so far. Still holding fairly steady here at uh, just over 100 volts. Thanks for watching. So long.